April 16th, 2016. We're going to uh, run both auto linings at the same time. Give them a start, see how they do. I have them all set, so all I should have to do is turn the fuel on, light the flame, and they should run. Serial number seven. One closest to the camera, serial number six. That was just the first test run this morning. And after a brief break in period, it loosens up quite nicely. And as you can see, it's very happy. Show number six. The brass pot is the exhaust that collects the condensate and oil, emulsified oil from the slide valve. The little quarter turn petcock on the right is actually the speed control. The further open it is, the less time passes between uh, combustion events and the engine runs faster. Two slide valves. The main slide valve controls ignition, air intake, um, timing. The little slide valve controls the, uh, the uh, fuel and also maintains the vacuum in the cylinder so the atmospheric pressure will push the piston down on the downstroke. On the pointed burner is the relay flame, and inside the slide valve, sometimes you can occasionally see a little bit yellow, is the uh, ignition flame within the slide valve thickness that controls ignition of the uh, air and fuel mixture in the engine. These engines are both running on pure hydrogen gas. The original ran on aluminum gas, which was quite similar. These are the last two three-quarter size Otto Langen engines that uh, will be made. Uh, 
It was a, a prototype made that is at the Cool Spring Power Museum in Cool Spring, Pennsylvania. And there were seven production engines that were made over a period of 15 years from 2001 to 2016. And these are the last two. One is staying here in the United States, the other one's going offshore. And there you have it.